Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Today we'll be diving into Quicksilver that just came into my possession. So we are making an unboxing video on Quicksilver's hero pack. So let's get started. So first we have Pietro Maximoff, which is the alter ego side. Uh, three recovery, uh, civilian super power siblings action, discard two cards from your hand, draw two cards, draw three cards. Instead, if Wanda Maximoff is in play, limit once per round. Okay, so on the alter ego side, you can cycle your deck to look for the cards you need and uh, get cards out of your hand that are not that useful at your current situation. So uh, I think this is going to be a quite interesting mechanic to use. And let's look at the hero side. So Quicksilver has one toward, one attack and one defense. Uh, Quicksilver has the adventure trait, super speed, response. After you use one of Quicksilver's basic powers, toward attack or defense, ready him, limit once per phase. Okay, and uh, uh, the hand size actually, the hand size on uh, Alter Ego is 6 and hit 9 hit points and on Hero side it's uh, hand size of 5 and 9 hit points. So I think this power is quite effective. Uh, if you can boost your basic values on the skills up or basic powers up so for example if you get an attack of three you are hitting for an attack of six every round so you uh, hit then ready and hit again so you can deal quite a lot of damage or do quite a lot of thwarting so I think this is a really interesting mechanic. So next up, let's look at the Scarlet Witch ally. So Scarlet Witch Wanda Maximoff is a 3 cost ally. Uh, 1 toward, 1 attack, Avenger and 3 hit points. Interrupt. When you use one of Scarlet Witch's basic powers, discard the top card of the encounter deck. For each boost icon discarded this way, Scarlet Witch gets plus one to that power for this use and Scarlet Witch can be committed as a wild resource. So uh, basically when you're uh, twerking or attacking with Scarlet Witch you hope to see a big boost uh, icon card on top of the encounter deck. Maybe we will start seeing some more cards in the future that uh, let you manipulate the counter deck so you can put some high cost cards on top. Uh, first thing uh, I'm thinking is uh, comboing this ability with the uh, alter ego ability of a spider woman. So with spider woman you can uh, what reveal the top card of the encounter deck. So you basically know what the boost icon will be or, or how many boost icons there will be for the uh, top card so you can combo in a two-player or multiplayer game by uh, checking the amount of boost icons and then using Scarlet Witch so you can basically save Scarlet Witch if there are not that many boost icons and only use uh, her when you get the most use out of it. Next up uh, we have Always Be Running and uh, there are actually uh, four copies of this card in the deck. And this is the staple card of Quicksilver. So Always Be Running is one cost event with the superpower trait. It has the hero action, ready Quicksilver. And it can be committed as a, a energy resource. So with this, uh, you can ready Quicksilver multiple times a turn. So now imagine Quicksilver having a 3 attack or 3, uh, three thwart, so you can do quite a lot of damage or thwarting with Quicksilver if you happen to get these in your hand. 
and can ready Quicksilver multiple times. Then we have double time and there are two copies of this in the Quicksilver deck. So double time is a two cost event. It is a superpower. Hero action. Choose two of the following. You may choose the same option twice. Deal two damage to an enemy or remove two threat from a scheme. So again this two cost event deals either four damage four or thwarts for four or deals two damage and thwarts for two. So you can uh, alter it depending on your board situation. So quite a powerful card in my opinion. Next we have a maximum velocity. It's a two cost event, a max one per phase. It's a superpower again. Uh, hero action, you get plus what to thwart, plus two attack and plus two defense until the end of the round. Okay, so this comboed uh, with Quicksilver's own ability and uh, uh, always be running. You can do quite a lot of stuff in a turn. So I'm really, really liking this card and there are two copies of it in the deck. Uh, next me, uh, we have uh, a one of event. It's a speed cyclone. It's an X cost event with the superpower trait. Hero action, stun X enemies. And it can be committed as an energy resource. Oh yeah, um, going back, the double time was a mental resource and the maximum velocity was a physical resource, so I uh, forgot to all those out but yeah uh, speed cyclone there is one copy of this event in the deck and uh, you can basically pay for one and stun one enemy uh, which usually might be the villain but if you really need to you can pay for more and stun multiple enemies so this is a quite powerful card so i understand why there is only one copy in the deck next we have the a uh, support card for Quicksilver. It's the Serval Industries, one cost support, location, and the X Factor trait. Alter Ego action, exhaust several, uh, uh, exhaust Serval Industries, shuffle two Quicksilver cards from your discard pile into your deck, and it can be committed as a mental resource. So this card is uh, quite good. I think with Quicksilver's low health, you need to go to Alter Ego now and then. So with this you can shuffle some of the key cards like the Always Be Runnings and maybe the other like the Maximum Velocities or Double Times or stuff, stuff like that back into your deck to get them uh, even more into play with each within each deck rotation. So I think this is a okay location, only one cost. Next we have an upgrade. It's a two cost upgrade. It's accelerated reflexes. Condition, superpower, Quicksilver gets plus one defense. And it can be committed as a energy resource. And there is one copy of this in the deck. So this is a static boost to your defense and not that much to talk about it. It just makes Quicksilver's other cards even better if you are playing him as a defensive um, hero in your group. So next we have uh, another upgrade. It's a three cost upgrade. It's friction resistance, condition sub superpower, uh, hero response. After you ready Quicksilver, ready discard resource. Exhaust friction resistance, generate a physical resource, and this can be committed as a physical resource also. So basically, uh, every time you ready Quicksilver, if you have this in play, you can also ready this card and use it to play uh, other cards. So even if it generates a physical resource, you can just play a uh, always be running and. Exhaust this and ready Quicksilver and ready this, so 
it's a mini uh, engine going in your uh, hero cars. I think that sounds an interesting mechanic. Then uh, we have a two cost up upgrade uh, hyper perception. It's a condition, superpower, quicksilver gets plus one port. So again, the same as the accelerated reflexes, so this boosts your thwart and makes your other uh, quicksilver reading abilities and cars better. And this can be committed as a mental resource, so uh, depending on your situation you might want this in play as fast as possible if you need to thwart a lot. And uh, then uh, we have the same but for attack, so uh, reinforce at Sinu, and it's a two cost upgrade condition superpower, and Quicksilver gets plus one, two, uh, plus one to the attack basic power, and this can be committed as a physical resource. So, not talking about that that much because we've uh, talked about the other ones, but. Those were the Quicksilver cards, so an interesting uh, deck in itself, or the hero cards. So next up we'll see the protection cards that come with Quicksilver. So Quicksilver comes with the protection uh, aspect, pre-built deck. First we have the multiple man, and there are three copies of multiple man in the deck. Multiple man is the first ally without the unique symbol, so you can play multiple multiple mans. It's a four cro uh, cost ally with one sword and one attack and two health. X factor. So uh, response after you after multiple man enters play, search your deck and hand for uh, a copy of multiple man and put it into play. Shuffle your deck if it was searched this way, so you can. Uh, pay four for multiple man and then put this in the play and uh, I think when the other copy comes into play It enters play so you can search for the sec third copy so you get all the three for the cost of uh, four resources so an interesting card and I'll be definitely trying that out next we have warlock and warlock is a unique ally, uh, costs three resources, and oh yeah, multiple man was a mental resource, which I forgot to mention again. But uh, Warlock is a one toward one attack ally with the X factor and three hit points. Action: spend a mental resource, heal up to two damage from Warlock, and Warlock can be uh, used as a physical resource. So. This is a really uh, interesting card. I'm thinking that maybe this combo with some boosting cards from uh, leadership and played in a Spider Woman deck maybe might be really interesting. You boost this guy up, then you can heal him up uh, with only one mental resource card in hand or maybe use a card that generates mental resources to heal it up but yeah um, an interesting uh, ally and the three cost is okay for me next up uh, we have uh, uh, never back down there are three copies of this event in the deck uh, never back down is uh, one cost event uh, defense hero interrupt defense when you defend against an attack, you get plus 2 defense for this attack. If you take no damage from this attack, stun the attacking enemy. So this copy, uh, this event uh, comboed with some other cards that boost your defense are, uh, makes this quite a powerful card. So uh, for example, every time the villain is attacking you, if you manage to play this and take no damage, you stun the enemy, which is really, really powerful. Uh, next, we have uh, another event, it's the sidestep, and there are three copies of this in the deck. And 
it is a one cost event, defense, hero interrupt defense, when you would take any amount of damage, prevent three of that damage if you paid for this card using a energy resource, deal one damage to that enemy, uh, to an enemy, and it e even doesn't have to be the enemy that attacked you. And uh, this can be committed as a um, mental resource. So I think this is another interesting card for protection. It lets you uh, remove some of the damage you are taking and convert it into damage output for from your hero. So another way to defend but at the same time deal damage out uh, towards the enemy. So a decent card for my liking. Uh, next we have uh, two copies of the Armored West card and I won't go into much detail about that. Uh, then we have a two cost upgrade, Nerves of Steel. It's a skill, uh, play under any player's control, max one per player. Resource, Exos Nerves of Steel, generate the um, energy resource for a defense event. So right away this combos well with the sidestep event. As you can generate the um, energy resource for that event and that triggers the deal one damage to the to an enemy on that card. So I think this is an okay uh, resource card for a specific type of deck that needs energy resources or some stuff. And there are of course three copies of this in the deck and it can be committed as an energy resource. Uh, next we have a basic event uh, which is the siblings uh, event for or the team up event for the siblings Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. It's the Order and Chaos. It's a one cost event. Team up Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Match one per deck. Hero interrupt. When a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel it. When uh, cancel it when revealed effects, then deal two damage to the villain. So and this can be committed as a physical resource. So a pretty powerful cancel card. Of course, there's uh, the limit of what, only one copy in a deck, and you need to have a uh, Quicksilver and Skull that which team up. So uh, if I remember correctly, uh, you need to have both uh, identities in play to play this card. But yeah, uh, a powerful card, and I like this more than the Ant-Man and Wasp team up card. Then we have uh, the basic resource cards, uh, energy, genius and strength. Uh, next we have a new upgrade. Uh, it is one cost upgrade, Adren Adrenaline Rush. It's a condition, hero action, discard Adrenaline Rush. Your hero gets plus one attack until the end of the phase and it can be committed as a uh, energy resource. So uh, immediately. Uh, I noticed that you can have uh, all the three copies in play at one time. So discarding all of these at the same time uh, makes your hero plus three attack. And comboed with Quicksilver, that's a quite hard hitting Quicksilver. If you can also play, always be running um, in the same turn. And next we have uh, Civic Duty. It's a one cost upgrade, it's a tactic, uh, hero action, discard civic duty, your hero gets plus one thwart, uh, thwart until the end of the phase and it can be committed as a mental resource. So uh, again, the same thing, there are three copies, you can have all of them in play at the same time and uh, discard all of them uh, and get a humongous boost for your thwart. And those are all the cards that come in the uh, hero pack for the pre-built hero pack for Quicksilver. Uh, next, let's look at the rest of the new hero cards. And we have Brute Force for aggression. It's a one cost upgrade. Uh, skill, your hero gets plus one attack. Your basic attack gains piercing. 
discard any tough status card from the target before dealing damage. Force response after you make a basic attack, discard brute force. And there are three copies in the deck. Or, or three copies of this in the pack. So, um, decent card. Uh, it's a one use boost to get rid of a tough or something like that. Next, we have the Justice card. A two cost upgrade Sense of Justice. It's a skill. Play under any player's control. Max one per player. Resource, Exhaust Sense of Justice, generate the mental resource for that for a dwarf event and it can be committed as a, a mental resource. So this is really similar to the protection version that we just looked at in the uh, Quicksilver Hero Pack. So a resource card for uh, dwarfing events and this generates a mental resource, so there are three copies of this in the deck, so an okay, uh, an okay justice card, in my opinion, nothing special. And next we have the uh, leadership card, it's a zero cost event, united we stand, play only if your identity has the Avenger trait, hero action, heal one damage from up to X friendly, uh, friendly characters, a maximum of three characters where X is the equal to the villain stage number and it can be committed as a physical resource. So a healing card uh, within the leadership aspect and uh, again uh, this goes into the series that takes note of the villain stage number so the tougher the villain the more powerful this card will be. So an okay card. Then the last uh, new uh, hero card in this pack is the beat them up. It's a basic event, two cost event. It's a tactic, hero action, deal one damage to the villain and each minion engage with you. And it can be committed as a energy resource and there are three copies in the deck. So, an AoE uh, damage dealing card, so first I'm thinking this is really powerful if you're playing, for example, Ultron and have a bunch of drones to deal with and your hero doesn't have that good of an AoE ability, for example, that the Strange is a bit bad for AoE damage dealing, so this card could be actually pretty good in um, Doctor Strange if you're playing, for example, Expert Ultron, but maybe we are getting some more villains that have this swarming uh, minion effect in play that they generate small minions all the time. But yeah, those are all the hero cards. Uh, lastly, let's look at the Obligation and the Nemesis deck for uh, Quicksilver. Uh, the obligation for Quicksilver is Need for Speed. Uh, give to the Pietro Magnifomoth player. You may flip to Alter Ego form. Choose Exhaust Pietro Maximoff. Remove Need for Speed from the game or exhaust your identity. You cannot ready your identity until your next turn ends. Discard this obligation. Okay, so this is uh, straight away punishing uh, Quicksilver's ability to ready, so you really want to get rid of this if at all possible and not uh, see it come up multiple times a game because that will just uh, shut down uh, Quicksilver's ability because you can't ready. Next we have the Nemesis set side scheme. So it's the extortion of seismic proportion. It's a side scheme with three boost icons inside one. So when this comes into play, you add one uh, threat to the main scheme, and it has the uh, I forget what this symbol is called, but you have to uh, defeat this scheme before you can thwart the main scheme. So yeah, <laughs> I just can't remember the. 
uh, name for that symbol, but yeah, that is basically what it means. And it comes into play with two Torkel per player. So, next we have the Nemesis uh, minion, and it's the Avalanche. So Avalanche is a minion with one scheme and one attack, uh, two attack and four hit points. It has the Brotherhood of Mutants uh, trait. So uh, the Brotherhood of Mutants is the evil faction that is, I think, against uh, X-Men. So a hint that the X-Men might be coming sometime uh, in the future. It has the inside 2 when revealed, place 2 threat on the main scheme. When revealed, each player must choose to either take 2 indirect damage or exhaust their identity. So, and it has 2 uh, boost icons. So again, uh, take damage or exhaust. So, playing against Quicksilver's uh, strengths. Then uh, we have a, a condition, or an attachment uh, rather. So vibra uh, vibration resistance, it's an uh, attachment condition, attached to avalanche if able, if you cannot attach to the villain, Re uh, reduce the damage attached enemy takes for, uh, from each attack by one, hero action, exhaust your hero, discard this card, and one boost icon. So, uh, again, exhaust your hero to get rid of it. It seems to be the theme of this uh, villain deck, or the minion, or the nemesis uh, set. And then we have Earthqu Earthquake. There are two copies of this. Put in both here. So Earthquake is a treachery. Inside one, when revealed, place one threat to the main scheme. When revealed, discard two cards from your hand and exhaust your identity. Okay, and... Again, you have to first discard cards, then uh, also exhaust your identity. So, again, with the theme of exhausting your identity. And it has the boost symbol that, or the boost star that uh, has the boost ability. So, boost ability choose to either spend two resources or exhaust your identity. Okay, so again, exhaust your identity. So, that was the Quicksilver Hero Pack, with all the cards that come in it. Uh, what do you think about Quicksilver? I'm rather liking this uh, exhaust and ready theme of the deck. I'm really excited to sleeve these cards up and start uh, playing with Quicksilver. Uh, let me know in the comments, are you uh, already playing with Quicksilver or waiting for your pack to arrive, or rather uh, thinking should you get this hero pack. And hope uh, this video uh, helped you make that decision of rather get there, getting it or skipping it. But as always, thanks for watching and until next time.